Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic and today we've got kind of a unique video. So because a lot of us want the 17 HMR in Call of the Wild, I decided that today we will use the 17 HMR and we're going to be hunting turkeys and bobcats with it. I think it could be a pretty fun way to use this gun and I need to go to Whiteheart Island anyway in search of whitetail deer to hopefully get a 300 plus non-typical or just to get a really large rare because I'd like either of those for whitetail. I don't currently have them in my lodge. I've killed them in the past, but it was way before lodges were a thing. We've also got the 30 out 6 lever action because we're also doing a mission for the whitetail. I believe it's the very last one that's called a buck for each. And so there's like six different guns that we have to use to kill uh, whitetail deer. So I've also got the 357. Uh, to fill another one of those slots and hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of the kills for that mission along with some turkeys and coyotes. And I believe we can also take Bobcat with the 17 HMR as well, so we'll try to do that also. And of course the first thing we hear is a female elk. So we're going to start out in the golden tree stand and just see how many turkeys we can get with the 17 HMR. And then we'll probably start walking around and go to the lower island. And hopefully between all of that, we'll be able to get at least a few decent sized animals, or at least that's the plan. There actually already is a turkey right there. It is a 45 to 75, 8.5 to 9.9 .9 weight estimate. Uh, let's try to call it in. Let's figure out where I even have the color. There we go. Not that calling is really going to change much since we're going to be shooting it with the 17 HMR anyway, but... Just in case there's others in the area, I'd like to see them before we take a shot. But it does appear that this is the only turkey in the area, so let's get lined up on it. And take our shot. And that will be it for that turkey right there. I don't see anything flying off, so I think we are good. Now, I know the spook range for the 17 HMR is a bit lower than it is for other rifles, so uh, that's one of the reasons why I figure this would actually be a pretty good idea to uh, take it to... Uh, Whiteheart Island because we can most likely not spook everything in the area while taking out these turkeys And this is our first kill of the day. Hopefully this one will be at least a 60 scoring one It's hard to say what it's gonna end up being but it is a 61.1 so not a bad turkey We'll get a quick little screenshot Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks really really cool right there So that's the trophy shot we're gonna go with and I really really like that that looks super amazing and we did just get a call from another turkey, but I have no clue where. Well, there's another turkey way out there. This would be quite the shot, but I think we're going to try it. Let's see uh, how the 17 HMR does at long range. I've got a feeling it's not super great, but I have not used this rifle a lot, so I really don't know. For all I know, it could be pretty decent. Well, I don't know where those are hitting. Oh, they're hitting way high. Okay, so this doesn't actually have as much drop as I was expecting it to. There we go. We finally got it. So there's literally no drop. This gun might be even more amazing than I already knew that it was. You know, typically when we go into these videos, I will have at least been using the gun for a decent amount of time, but... I honestly have only used the 17 HMR like maybe twice because I don't do a lot of small game hunting and that's primarily what it can take so I've never really used it. This is only the second or third time and so I'm just learning all this stuff about it and I'm impressed with just how flat shooting it is. Like turkeys are going to be absolutely no issue and as you just saw if we miss we can just take as many follow up shots as we need. That is insanely good. Well, here's our second turkey. Uh, we got quite the long shot on this one. I doubt it's going to score even close to what the other one did. And actually, that scored pretty decent for its weight. It's only 8.2 kgs and it scores 60. It must have had a really good beard or spurs or something like that because that's actually a pretty decent scoring one. Let's actually take a look at this thing and kind of see what might have been it. Uh, that beard's definitely nice. I think it had to have been the beard. Definitely was. There's our little turkey right there, so she's been calling back at me for probably a good five minutes now, and I actually see another one over there. Oh, that's a tom right there. Uh, change of plans. We're taking that guy out. 
and we're gonna do it without a scope because I feel like that's gonna be a little bit more interesting so let's uh, line up on him real quickly and see if we can just get a shot into him and that will be the end of him not sure if we hit that I don't think we did but it was worth a shot but we did get the one up there that we wanted to take out and we took it out in pretty cool fashion I'd say and that is a bull Roosevelt elk that is something I was really hoping we would hear during this hunt because it's been a while since I've got a big Roosevelt or a rare Roosevelt for that matter so it'd be kind of cool if we could get one well on our way to taking out this elk let's go ahead and pick up our turkey uh, we didn't hit any vital organs but I mean it's just turkey it's gonna drop pretty much no matter what 36 scoring smallest one of the day but we got it without a scope on so I'd say that still makes it pretty cool so this elk is a max weight estimate which means it's got a chance of being pretty good now there's quite a range of uh, antler sizes it could be but it does have that chance of being something good well we finally have it in front of us and I mean it's a good size elk but it doesn't have any back tines so I couldn't see this being much larger than like mid 200s maybe 270s if we're lucky but we will take this thing out with the iron sights on the 30 out 6 lever action I think this should be a pretty fun way to do it once again and yeah that'll be it for him and he was the only elk as far as I can tell I don't think there was any others in the area so perfectly fine with just taking him and not really worrying about waiting for anything else because I'm pretty sure he was the only one but it's a good size elk at least I mean can't complain too much it's at least decent and it does end up scoring 280 so yeah it's not bad at all we'll uh, get a quick little trophy shot even though it's probably not trophy shot worthy but just for the sake of the video let's go ahead and just do a quick little uh, trophy shot pose one and honestly something like that is not too bad we'll just go ahead and call it there I think that is good enough for just a small to average size bull like that guy was well this right here is going to be the perfect chance for us to take a long range shot on a turkey it's 140 meters away this could be our best opportunity yet let's go ahead and get lined up on it and see if we can connect this shot it's a hope that I'm a little better than I was last time and oh my gosh it's so good I absolutely love it I am so glad that I decided to use this thing today since like I was saying I haven't really used it a lot I didn't realize that it was this insane and it's so quiet too like it's just an amazing gun this makes me want it in Call of the Wild even more Call of the Wild absolutely has to add this gun at some point and recently there was something posted in their discord that said that they are working on a smaller caliber weapon uh, if I remember to I'll put the screenshot of that up right now but they're working on a smaller caliber weapon and that is gonna be pretty awesome I'm excited to see what it is my only two guesses are that it's either gonna be the 22-250 or the 17 HMR I'm really hoping 17 HMR but I'd be okay with either one honestly so there's definitely some more turkeys up there we just got a call from a hen and I'd say there's a chance that there's maybe even some more toms up there uh, we'll keep an eye out but as of now I don't see them actually I think that is her right there so let's get lined up on her and see if we can get her down in one shot too there she is and there she goes I really didn't even check to see how big this turkey was I kind of just shot it so for all I know this could be a good one and I'm hoping it is It's 8.9 kgs only 46 so not exactly a great turkey but even the smaller turkeys in classic give a lot of money so it's just good to get any of them down really and the whole purpose of today's video is just using the 17 HMR and also trying to get a few of our whitetail kills along the way so for the fact that that's what we're doing in this video any turkey will do and this little hen right here was unfortunately one that was unfortunate enough to get in our way and we got her down as well so let's keep on moving I'm gonna try and get to 
Uh, probably this area right here. If we can fast travel, which we can't, then I would. But we're just going to head down there. That tower is amazing for turkey and whitetail, so hopefully we'll see something there. That is another Tom, I believe. Yeah, that's really close, actually. Oh my, that's way closer than I was expecting it to be. Oh, there it is. There's our turkey right there. I think it might have just spooked. But I don't know. Unfortunately, I was moving to the side to try and see better when it showed up, so... There it is. It didn't spook. We are golden. And that will do it for that turkey. Oh, there's one more. Don't think it's gonna fly up to where we could hit it, unfortunately, so... We're just gonna have to let that one go, but we did get this guy right here, so let's just, uh... Jet our way over here. And pick this thing up. That is another heart shot, and this one ends up scoring 45 once again, so another low scoring one, and we just heard another Tom Gobble in this direction, so let's head over there. We also got a max weight estimate whitetail deer track. I think we definitely need to follow this as well, because that could be a pretty large buck. Uh, if we see the turkey on the way, we'll take it out, but I think I'm going to prioritize chasing this buck down, because this very well could be a good one. So it was bedded down right here very recently. That means it's got to be close. It has to be very close. Otherwise, I don't know where else it would be. I honestly don't know what to do for this buck. It's got so many tracks spread around this area. All going in different directions with different time frames. I have no clue, like where his newest track is or which direction he's even gone in. At this point, we're kind of just walking in random directions and hoping we run into some fresh tracks, but I'm not even sure if he's going to be worth chasing because of how weird the tracks have been for him. Well, we've got a few coyotes out in front of us along with a turkey, and since we have not shot any coyotes yet, I think we'll try to take a couple of them down, and I think that was a bobcat that just called. But let's go ahead and get lined up on this coyote. This will be the first one I've ever shot with the 17 HMR, so let's see how this goes. And wow, that just absolutely dropped it. That's impressive. Let's see if we can... No, not going to be able to hit that turkey. Oh well. At least we got that coyote down. There was a few others around. I don't know if we'll be able to get them at all, but... And that'll be it for the turkey as well. Well, we've got another Tom out at about 156 meters. This will be our longest shot yet, but I think we can make this, provided I can actually stay steady and on target. And of course, we completely missed, which uh, does not surprise me one bit. That shot's kind of... A long one and I don't have good enough rifle skill on the 17 HMR yet for it to be 100% accurate but when we're prone we got much better accuracy and we got a hen out here let's see if we can just oh my gosh I think I shot her in the foot and it still killed her Wow that was something else I went ahead and picked up both of those female turkeys already, so let's just go ahead and grab the coyote and then we will head over to the tom. This one was just a 36 female, but we did get a lung and spine one, so not too bad. The 17 HMR is doing work on these things. Honestly, at this stage in Call of the Wild's lifespan, I think we really need the 17 HMR because it could be a class 1 to 3 rifle, which would make it so it could cover stuff like ducks and turkeys, along with coyotes and bobcat and fox, and I think that would be really, really cool. Even if it was just a 1 to 2 rifle, it would still be really good and it would cover most of the stuff that we would need it to. Um, the only th reason that I'm thinking that they might not do 1 to 3 if they ever do add it is because of the fact that that would include the axis deer and stuff like that and they're a bit big for it but that was something else we got an elk bugling behind us and i just saw a massive black tail where did that black tail go it looked pretty big it's hard to tell but it's either a 160s or a 190s can't tell as of now uh maybe 150s honestly 
120 to 195 on the estimate. Yeah, it's a 150s buck probably. Not as crazy as I was thinking. Let's uh, call the elk in instead. So there's definitely multiple elk because we've got a really small one in front of us and then we just got a call from another. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to let this guy go and wait for the other one to come in. It's not gonna be easy to do, but I think we can kind of dodge this guy by going in this direction since he'll be going straight to where the call came from. Oh my gosh. Of course he'd start going in the exact direction I'm trying to go. Well, that doesn't surprise me, honestly. Oh, there he is. There's that elk. It's definitely a better one. But definitely not huge. Now, their variable could be another, but I doubt it. We will wait a couple minutes and see if there is, but I'm guessing it's probably just these two elk. And yeah, this guy's getting pretty close, so let's just uh, try to take a shot. And yeah, that will do the trick. Maybe we can even get the second one. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know if we did. Uh, we definitely did. And yeah, that's it for him. <laughs> I didn't expect him to uh, run in circles. So that worked out better than I thought it would. And this guy right here ends up being 311. That's actually our best one of the day. Uh, not going to screenshot it though because it's uh, not that impressive. And here is our ultra small Roosevelt elk. This guy is quite the tiny one, 74.9. Jeez, didn't even quite make 75. That is quite the small elk. But uh, anyway, let's get away from the water as quickly as we can. and. I think we're going to go ahead and call the video there. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to comment down below with a suggestion on what you guys think we should do on the Hunter Classic next because uh, we're going to try and include hunt the Hunter Classic into the channel as much as we can. I know a lot of you missed it for quite some time and are enjoying the fact that it's back, so we'll try to keep it going, but I can't promise that I won't lose interest in the game at some point because the thing about Classic is... A lot of times new content is what drives me to enjoy the game again, so we'll see how long it lasts, but as long as I'm enjoying it, I'll be posting it, so leave some comments down below on what you'd like to see. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!